Hey there, welcome to video four of video eight in our Falling in Love with Sales series. And today this video is about staying present and attuned. And what occurs to me is when we talk in this video, the context for this conversation is about staying present and attuned when you're talking to people, when you're having the sales conversations, when you're talking to them about what they want and when you're being curious and you're listening deeply. What occurs to me is when I'm talking to someone, my, my come from is that this is the most important conversation in my life, not because of what's, what's at stake, not at all, but simply because that's where I am. I'll say that again. This is the most important conversation of my life simply because that is where I am at present moment and nothing else in my thinking matters except what's in front of me. And that, that come from has helped me so much because it's helped me to not pay attention to any thinking I might have or judgments I might have, which tends to get in the way. In the last video, Wynn talked a little bit about that, about how I might talk to someone and insecure thinking might come in like, am I good enough? Who am I to charge this amount of money? Do, can they afford it? Are they going to like me? Are they going to think I'm crazy if I tell them what, what I think they really need? Um, like, do they like what I'm wearing? <laughs> like, am I dressed nice today? Like, is it like, do they like the coffee I've ordered for them? Like, none of that important at all. The only thing, the, the most important thing to me is what's in front of me. And what's in front of me is this person who I'm genuinely curious about, who, I'm, who I have a genuine interest in helping. And for me, that, that's what it's like to stay present and attuned, is knowing that I don't have to pay attention to all my thinking going on. The only thing I have to pay attention to is what's in front of me. And that's made the biggest difference because people can feel you when you're present. When you're present, you, you become present to presence. And when you become present to presence, it, it's almost like your, your glass fills up and it overflows from your cup. And there's a feeling to it. And if anything, people will feel calm and at ease in your presence. And sometimes that's enough for one of them to know more. Like, I don't know what it is talking about you, but I feel calm and present. I want more of that. How do I pay you? And that's what I would want to give you in this video is to know that A, that's possible. B, you can bring that calm presence into any situation. C, you don't have to pay attention to any of your insecure thinking that's going on in the moment, not important. The only thing that's important with you in that moment is what's in front of you. So I'm gonna pass this on to Win. I don't know how much more I could say about that. That was lovely to listen to. The, the one thing that pops into my mind of how I know I'm in a state of being present is that it's, a, it's only now and always now. There's no past, no future. And I'm listening to them, not the noise in my head. I know you've said that in a couple of different ways and, and hinted at in the previous video. The other thing that I also want to kind of say is the word credibility and trust. And credibility is a, a format, apparently, that is one way that person A will trust person B an awful lot more if they're credible. And the fastest way I know for credibility to occur is to be present. It has magic in it. It feels great to us, feels great to them. We're on to something. That's it.